Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, because we're gonna meet Mr. Lacroix, and uh, then we're gonna wander the streets of downtown Los Angeles a little bit. There's a lot to see and a lot to do in here, folks. There's... Who the hell are these guys? Hey guys, what's up? Hazmat suits and whatnot. Mm -hmm. There's a fight going on. I heard the noise. I heard that noise. But apparently, I kind of left. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's see what's uh, got around here. I also need to remember that I am running the plus patch, so there might be uh, quests and stuff that I don't know about. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just gonna meet Lacroix. He lives in the tallest building in town, and that would be this mother trucker over here. So let's go over there. Let's. Um, I, this building is way cooler, though. I always love this building. Just those golden gargoyles. Those look amazing. But in here, we got an Elysian area. We got um, Lacroix Enterprises. So, yeah. A little bit of a... Hello. Look who it is. Hey there, Chief. Small world, huh? <laughs> yep, after that gallery, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big leagues, Chief? Yeah, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? What do you think, genius? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you type to do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium, that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Right. Is he in your chunk? Oh boy. Why do you say you types? I yeah. I'm I'm looking badass. Look at me. I unfortunately can't see my face. We'll see it from time to time. I can. I mean, if I roll the camera very quickly, <laughs> I could maybe. But anyway, let's let's go upstairs. It's a very nice place. We got here some metal detectors that don't work. We got here some doors that also don't work. And we got an elevator back here, if I remember correctly. Yes, it's not back here. It's just over there. Uh, but yeah, everything else, huge, huge, tall room, the elevator has already been called, which is a good thing, because, well, it's, it doesn't have that many, yeah, let's go to the PH, what is that PH? I don't know what that means, I never knew what that means. So we got some very blazy candles in a very, very nice room, look at, look at what we have up there. I don't know these paintings, though, I have no idea what these are, but they look nice. The guy, these all look like biblical, biblical scenes or something. They could be. Yeah, they probably are. I mean, like, like vampires have a, the root on Cain and whatever, whatever. So yeah, the biblical sense of the vampire type of deal could be, um, could be uh, what all, what these all are all about. So yeah, you see that guy over there? Yeah, that's the badass guy that I told you about that we guys saw. Hey man, yeah, look at him. Look at his magnificent, this guy as well, but this guy over here, you can talk to him. He doesn't even look at us. Yeah. Yeah, look at his claws, by the way. They're just, they're just, like, huge. Huge, they look like elephant hands or something. I don't even know what these guys, guy yeah. Anyway, hey man. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Uh, of course I have... Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Uh, well, I... Yeah, none at all. It's all fine. That is the answer I want to hear. You've done well, the circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's end. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Well, what's in it for me, though? I mean, 
like don't be so hasty to inflate your own worth you succeeded once very admirable but if you're looking to make a name for yourself Ventrue, listen very carefully there have been whispers rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the elizabeth dane the cargo ship that was towed into port recently have you heard of it Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I, you know, but still, what's it all about? The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now... I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You know, it kind of makes me uncomfortable when you talk to my crotch right now. Don't look at my crotch. You stop looking at my crotch right now. Why are you looking at my crotch? I, it's not, I'm not that kind of, no. Hmm. Anyway, so what do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Uh-huh. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. Ooh. The man so does love to throw that Cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Uh, you asked me to visit him at the last round? Consider it a lesson. You see, we Ventru sometimes must take it upon ourselves to patronize the rabble and hear them out with a look of genuine concern, no matter how ridiculous their notions may be. This guy's good. This guy is a good politician right here. And that probably tells you how I feel about politicians in general. So if you're a politician, please don't come near me. Thank you. Anyway, uh, fine, whatever. Give the Anarch community my regards. Yeah, right, whatever. Man, yeah. Yes, I mean, I'm a Ventru. I know what I do. But I do it for the good of the people. No, actually not the people. For my good. Yeah, that's that's probably. And why was he looking at my crotch? Do I have my fly open? Is that it? Do we have a mirror? Mirror? You guys don't have mirrors, do you? Well, if, the, if yeah, we we see ourselves in mirrors, though. I think in the world of darkness, but it would make sense if we didn't that he would have no mirrors. I mean, these doors, they are yeah, they they are not really reflecting. This is a weird effect that the game has for some reason. It's you can see that it clearly isn't reflecting. It's just weird. Anyway, let's get out of here and go back downstairs. So, Chuck. Is it Chuck? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. Lacroix. Now, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Death! Eat your hands off my Bavarian cream! Oh. Okay. Thought he was looking at camera 3 and seeing the sort of... The creamy center bit was a little bit weird, and I was like, what the hell is he talking about? Maybe it's a donut, and donuts are amazing, and I love donuts with all my heart, and my gut as well. And my flabby, what's the, tummy, I guess? Anyway. Um, yeah, we got a lot of places to see. Uh, our objective right now with La Croix is La Croix. Let's see, we have, as you can see, we have this separated into all the sections. We have Santa Monica over here. We have downtown, so we have the uh, Elizabethan rendezvous. That's the uh, Elizabeth Dane. We need to go there, and we have traffic. And for Larry, Larry gave us that quest at the end of last episode. And uh, today we are gonna let's see. I could go there. Yeah, let's go there. That building right there, that very nice looking building. I like it very much because it's red. I don't. Oh man, there they go. Red is not one of my favorite favorite colors. It's I like the color. But it looks... Oh, why did you murder that guy? 
What did he do to you? These guys are all crazy. What's up, man? Oh. What? Yeah, what the hell was that? Something, somebody's having fun. Yeah, there's, I think something happens, actually. Let me see. Let me go back here. Yep. Somebody's having fun. I'm gonna leave them to their... The, you guys, if you guys didn't see that, you need to pull up the brightness in your screen because that was something going on right there. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna violate their privacy. So, yeah, they're just doing some, some, you know, some, um, politician related activities, you know, talking to the microphone and all that. So, yeah, this is a club. This is a nightclub. There's, um, girls outside for some reason because in there are probably too smoky or something. I hate clubs. I hate the smoking clubs. I mean, it's just terrible. I cannot stand it. And the music is terrible as well. Not in this one, though. It's not too bad. I mean, it's better than basically all the, all the music in, in, in clubs that I've been to. It's a little bit repetitive, though, because it's always the same song, but it's still... It's not really my kind of my kind of music, to be honest. I'm more of a prog rock kind of guy. Heavy metal a little bit. So, hello. <laughs> I knew you talked to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Ooh, I guess Kay? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. Yeah, I never heard of him. Happy? Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. Um, uh, I guess I'll have... I, uh, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I have to go. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Why should I? Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said to come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. I might age. So you're a ghoul, huh? Okay. Well, that explains it why you're so drawn to him. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't drawn to you, though. I knew I knew who you were because I played this game before. But you are... I hate this, this girl, by the way. She's so annoying. Anyway. Um... Uh, so yeah, have some composure, girl. Well, fine. You're just some no get fledgling. I hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on Earth. They... Anyway, good luck, cool. Didn't I get the request? I didn't get the request, did I? Damn it. I want to get a request, though. That went. That didn't go well. Oh, guys, let me load the game. Auto save right there. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're at the auto save. I don't know where it is because I didn't look at the time, but I want that quest. I want that quest. Oh man, I wanted to help her. Dang it, we're outside. It's fine. Uh, what did we do? We just went around. There was a guy killing somebody. I talked. Uh, we saw somebody getting. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, those guys are hunting each other. Man, that was a nice kick right there. They got some nice moves. Mm-hmm. I don't I didn't I, I don't see that car, but it's all it's all fine. There was nothing around. So let's go in there. Let's get that quest and because I really want that quest. And uh, you'll then see why. Yeah, it's kind of easy to uh, not get quests in this game if you just say the wrong things. And that's how it should be. That's really how it should be, but I know how to get them. So let me save the game here and uh, talk to her again. So vampires, huh? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, she says the same thing. Who? His name is... Okay. Uh, I don't know him. Oh. She says the same thing. And, uh... Say that. No. Don't. So, why... Why should I? Oh. <laughs> Let's go with... I don't know what to tell you. I think that's the one. Well, fine. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, keep your voice down before I rip you out. Uh, rip your... Rip out your larynx. Let's go with that one. 
Okay, she says the same thing. Dang it. What's wrong with her? She didn't give me the quest. Is it? Am I wrong right now? I might be. Got a blood doll over here. We got a bartender over here. And uh, people dancing. I can dance in here if I want to. My humanity is maxed out, so I don't need to. Yeah, they all dress weirdly as usual. And there's stuff to look around if you want to look around. It's a nice club. It's a really nice club. It's, it looks like a cathedral sort of stuff. Or church kind of thing. Because look at these things. Although, it makes no sense that you'd have this... What looks to be... I don't know what this looks to be, actually. Like one of those things where you get baptized or something. Mm, I don't know. It's kind of tall for that, but you know, whatever. Let's have a chat here with the owner of this uh, establishment. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. In addition, the first thing to go. Two more of these, and they'll be telling you your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beef priestess, and it's time to confess. Hmm. Who are you? Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Yeah, too much. Nothing I can talk about, though. Uh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Skidding from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Hmm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. Yeah, well, anyway, that, uh... Yeah, that warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica, that was me. Oh, yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Go on. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, big, big. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. Hmm, that's it? That's it. What's in it for me? Drinks on the house for a week. Oh, that's. Uh, I prefer cash though. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Oh, definitely, I'll do it. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys aren't connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat preachers. Later, darling. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So, yeah, that was a line there to get rid of this turn style. Or the stun, stun thing. It's terrible. It is really terrible. I can't, can't go in there. I don't want to go in there. Let's just get out of here. And, uh, yeah, so that's the quest. That's the reason why I came in here, because we're going to get a quest immediately. And on our way there, or maybe on our way back, let's, let's make it on our way back. There's quite a few. There's a couple of different... Well, I was going to say quite a few, but there's a couple of different ways... Uh, there's a couple of different ways to complete this quest and uh, we have a quest here in downtown if you guys remember Which is a confession by the way. I don't what's the name of this thing? I mean, I didn't save it in there. We got the same but we have a name. I don't I can't look at the map So I don't know there's an there's maps all, all over the town. So let's see last round hello Brook Skyline Apartments. Yep, we need to go there. Nocturne Theater. Where are we? So we are five. Number five. Confession. Yeah, it's the name of the place. That's why she was all on and on about the confession type of deal. We got Empire... What? Empire Arms? Hotels? Yeah, Empire Arms Hotel. Skyline Apartments over there. And we need to go there because we have a quest for that. Um, and it's for Santa Monica. It's again, the Monica. Uh, so, yeah. Skyline Apartments 2A. So let's get in there. Actually, let's not go in there. Let's go there on our way back because we need to come here. Hello, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't want your business, though, because uh, she, uh, she, she's not highborn. Not highborn. She's not uptight, basically. It's not uptight. That's not the word. She's not good enough for me, basically. She's a whore. She's not fit to bear my children. And I'm just exploring around because there is stuff back here. Sometimes I don't, it's not stuff back here, but it's just there's this area back here, and it's a, a good. I mean. There you go. It's a good area. It's a little bit of a, of a parking lot here. And these guys are the Russian guys that um, Venus was talking about. So, uh, yeah. They look very nice and warm and welcoming and jolly and awesome. Maybe. I don't know. I, I double click the save key. The save key. Hello. Confession. Peach send you. Uh, s that she did. Money. Where is money? Yeah, she told me to tell you she doesn't have the money no money yeah uh no i i wish i could yeah no 
Break my legs, you say? Well, I don't feel like having my legs broken. So I was kind of on, I wanted to uh, persuade them, but nope. Oh, they're shooting their own man. Okay. That works. Uh, actually, I didn't want to do this. She's gonna be a little bit mad, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry, guys. Heal you guys. Oh, he died. Okay, I really need to drink your blood. I might die as well. Damn it. If I do it. No, now I'm gonna die. Okay, it's all good. It's all good if I die. Really, I need the blood. Can't. Yeah, nope. Final death. Okay, it's all good. Let's see. Let's bring up our persuasion a little bit. I think that's gonna be the play here. Because I'm a persuasive guy. That's my business here. So I'm, our persuasion is level 5. Let's see if I can bring it up with scholarship. Or, what's the other one? Charisma. Charisma is quite expensive. So scholarship is okay. Let's see if I have Fish enough. Each that she did. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Venus can't make her payment. I'm sure she has a good reason. No money. Yeah, there's no reason to get upset. I'm just a messenger here, man. Duh. Tell the bitch we be back next month. Yeah, I'm not sure you will. Not sure. I just don't want to cause a ruckus in here. I, she told me. She told me not to start a street fight. So I, I also don't want to spend blood. I could. I could very easily use that. But there we go. It's a little bit more in character. That's why I chose to go with that one. Uh, because it's a little bit more in character. I want to be persuasive dude, so let's go with that. So anyway, Skyline Apartments. This city, if you go down into the sewers, you can access a lot of the buildings around here. So we got a guard in here. It's a guard. Uh, uh-huh. So, uh, we can call the elevator. I want to go there, but I, I'm, the guard is probably not going to let me. So let's go to uh, level one. Is it, is it level? What's the, what's the name? I think it's level. Is it level? It's gotta be. This one is locked. I think it requires eight, if I remember correctly. Four? Oh. Oh, yeah, there's six. Um, nice place here. There's six apartments. And they're all huge and tall. I think that they all, the place might be all, all tall buildings and tall rooms because of the third person camera. It might be just a constraint for. It could be a level, uh, uh, you know, uh, art, artistic direction kind of deal, but. I don't know. It could be because of the engine, just to allow it the camera not to freak out with the ceilings. It could be it. Uh, you can go down there if you want to, but you're gonna make if you make noise, it's kind of tricky. Actually, being here and making noise is already kind of tricky. We're gonna go down there in a little bit, but first, let me uh, explore this place. Is that a fridge with blood in it? Nope, there's no fridge with blood in it. Let's go upstairs. It's actually quite interesting to explore all the apartments. This one, though, it might be quite uninteresting. This guy apparently is a... Oh, I see something. Photo. Hmm. A blurry photo of, look, of what looks like a Nosferatu. Mm-hmm. You see that? I don't know who that Nosferatu is, but whoever was in here had that photo over there. So we're going to check out that computer. Because that's the thing we do, and these mirrors don't work. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, the game isn't, isn't very moddable. For some reason, they never... Were able to put put you know better mirrors I guess or anything I I haven't looked so it might, it might be possible I don't know let's look at the emails here hack that thing that's a level six I believe I think that it should be enough yes and we ectoplasm I love haunted L A haunted L A is like the the greatest show ever oh that's that's typos I totally uh, the greatest show ever I totally am gonna visit all the places you talk about hey you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had uh, an OCD about wasting his, washing his hands. Lol. Uh, or LOL. I say lol. It's just weird. Um, I don't know if... Anyway. A haunted LA my ass. Even if there were such a thing at... Oh, there's... Oh, I see what this is. Uh, so basically the owner of this guy is the... Oh, the owner of this apartment is the guy that runs a show called Haunted LA. And these are, these are fan mail. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, there's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not even as if we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. Mm-hmm. So, upcoming shows. They probably haunted LA, Simon Milligan. I never read those. I, I used to, but I it's just out of... Just out of uh, habit, I guess. 
Show 17. Let's see what that is all about. Hospital Horror, a dilapidated hospital in the downtown area. This place is very spooky, minimal work required, the place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghosts of a nurse who feels as if she still has patients to serve. Mm-hmm, yep, well, there we go. So that's the show idea right there. Eternal Unrest, there's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Yeah, they're going for easy picks. I guess that's respectable, or not. Anyway, let's get out of here. We can access a few a few uh, apartments through the ventilation shafts. But what I'm really going to want to do... Let me save the game here. I want to go to the basement without making much noise. Otherwise, the cop is going to... Yeah, that cop is going to mess around with us. It was not a good start. Okay. Pretty good, though. Be okay. So we got to... Yeah. We got a computer here with cameras and stuff. To the bathrooms. Is it just random? Or is it, are the bathrooms the same? Yeah, there's like four, five, six. Yeah, they're like all the uh, rooms in the building or something. Check this out. Let's see. This is for Skyline Apartment Security. Email password level one, I believe. Level two. I don't think it's a peep. Huh? I guess that's telling. Hidden cameras online. Hey, Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending it, uh, sending in that security footage, and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Is it really good stuff? Why would you pay for that? I mean, you can put it on the internet. That's... And you can... For, you, know, you know, to make money out of it. Unless you got friends that are interested in buying that. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, apartment one. Let's see. Apartment 1, Simon Milligan, is on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Yep. So that's uh, an introduction to all the apartments. That's why I want to come down here. Apartment 2, Sean Milton. Sean, Sean Milton is a uh, slob, and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. Oh, man. Um, let's see this one. Georgia Welch. Georgia Welch. This reach broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648. So maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. Mm-hmm. Let's see, apartment four. Vacant, no reason to keep an eye on this one. Well, he's there, though. He's there. Paul Anderson. I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep the tape rolling. Yeah, upstairs? You mean apartment six? Hannah Glazer, the gold mine. Something hot is always going down in there, and that something is usually Hannah herself. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Was there anything else? Nope, there was not. Let's just take a peek out here. I think that is the door that leads outside. Do that, Or is that a, stair, a, set, a fly, flight of stairs or something? Oh, no. There's the one that leads outside. We got a few... Oh yeah, this leads to the sewers. As I told you, there's access to the sewers from here, so you can get in there, get in, get in here without much issue. But just getting out of here is also a, an easy thing to do. Just go down there. Uh, there's nothing here, I don't think. I can't really see anything, so it's like, yeah, there's no point. So that thing, I don't want to be seen though, but just in case I am, let me save the game here. We're actually coming up on the end of the episode, or just now looked at the time, so... Oh. Oh yeah, there's a flight of stairs that goes up. That's right. I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, there's the cop right there. I don't want him to see me because he's going to be mad. Okay, he didn't see me. It's all good. It's all good, but that's also going to be the end of the episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you... Ooh, okay, next episode. Bye.